Do you know much about like quantum computing? Have you seen like the recent? There's been a lot of like developments in that field. Like, do they teach you anything about quantum computing and, and electrical engineering? Not really. I mean, I've seen like the Mayorama chip. Yeah, yeah. How like amazing it is, but I understood nothing. Like, <laughs> like I know it's like instead of thinking like instead of zeros and ones, it's like like A B C D E F G like, mm. and that's literally all I know. Like, I, yeah, I'm not too knowledgeable in that field, but. It's quite it's quite confusing to be fair to get yeah. into. I think that there's a lot of it's not intuitive to learn because it's based on like quantum mechanics, which itself is not intuitive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like you're along the wrong lines of the A B like C D analogy. Like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think the the best way that I would describe it, to someone is is almost how in binary normal classical computers you have everything based on zeros and ones, as you said. Yeah. And then if you imagine like zero point five is like the middle of zero to one. Yeah. You have an infinite numbers between zero yeah. and one. Yeah, so yeah. then quantum, the idea of quantum is that you have a particle and usually like it might be positively or negatively charged, like the idea of it being positive or negative. And in quantum mechanics and like quantum computers, when you have those particles, it's the idea that when you're not observing it, when you're not looking at it, you don't know what state it's in. So mm -hmm. it can take up any of these states between zero and one, any of these numbers. Right. So it's almost like when you're doing a calculation with it, because it is not zero and one when you're like just leaving it to do its thing. Yeah it's working out all of the numbers between it. And it, that's how you can do like millions of simulations at once because you're doing wow. all of the possible combinations of zeros and ones. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you have to use like probability to get an answer because you don't know exactly if it was zero and one. You have to use like, oh, did majority of the answers come to this? And, and that's why you might have like 5% error and, and a 95% chance to get a correct answer. So then that's why as quantum computers improve, you can get the... The, that error percentage is getting lower and lower, so you know it's correct more of the time. And that's why, as we see improvements in the field, that like, you know it's it's getting better because of that error reduction. Yeah.